guys. Welcome to Sunday Skirmish. That said Warhammer Wednesday. This is Sunday, so I got to make another one that says uh, uh, Sunday Skirmish, where on our off days we like to play uh, some tabletop miniatures games. And on this episode, I have brought with me uh, Jay and Patrick. And the good news is we have really good news today. Uh, they have released the new codex for my boys, the orcs, and uh, Patrick. Let's go, Custodes. Custodes. So we cannot boys. wait to uh, try out these new codexes. Thank you to Games Workshop for sending us both of these codexes. So we've been flipping through it and going through it and, you know, uh, building armies and stuff and, and seeing how exciting it might be. Now, the general consensus is they did hey, a pretty awesome job on yep. this one. Yeah, this yeah. one's really thematic. For <laughs> tons of new detachments, some badass, uh, you know, um, lore type of things and some really powerful bits but Not unfortunately so for, <laughs> for the custodes it's more of a debuff a nerf so it kind of feels bad yeah a little bit of nerf because the custodes were dominating uh in tournaments and stuff so uh you kind of have to deal with a little slightly unexciting yeah. codex it's now, like they put the index in the and then made it a book yeah you know? and <laughs> it's if, like not not a lot in there so actually uh, there's a lot of reason to celebrate as an orc player. Walk! But there is two really big sad pieces, and that is um, something that I don't understand and I will not forgive GW for. But we lost two of our legendary characters. Captain Badruck, he's right there. He has his own page in the lore. And then you're like, oh, I read about him. This guy's pretty cool. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find his data sheet and I'm going to play with him. He was there just a month ago and now he's gone. <laughs> you took him out of the game. <laughs> what the hell? And I think it's because uh, GW has uh, resin models that yeah, they wanted to get rid of. Yeah, he's yeah. number one, I think he's out of print. It's, to be fair. He's out of print, and I and maybe in the future they'll make a plastic version of him, or they'll come out with a new badass. Yeah, but why not include model. him? Why but not? But why did you yeah. remove him? Why just take leave him out? the yeah. data sheet there? Because, uh, and I think I know why. He was the only thing that makes orcs good at shooting, uh, mm -hmm. and with the flash gets. So unfortunately, he's gone. And in fact, another guy uh, that leads the storm bo boys. Get out of here. You removed this guy, too. So he has his own page yeah. in the lore, and you removed him later on in the book. That I cannot stand. That's something that I'm going to give you crap over. But other than that, we have some really, really fun new rules for the orcs. Mm -hmm. And the custodes also have oh, rules. Oh, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> they, they have rules, yeah. <laughs> they have rules. Yeah. I'm not feeling good about this at all. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, Patrick, I think you may uh, you may die. Who knows? <laughs> I, I went and I picked a silly army list just so that we can, you know. For the, for the may, memes. I, for the memes. It is the green tide, ladies and gentlemen. Roll I am time. just going to spam these golden boys, because Patrick are, are as adeptus custodians. I'm just going to spam orcs. Just boys, boys, boys. We're going to come out and we're going to crump them. So let's check out uh, the army lists uh, today and see what we are running. So I guess I will go first, and I'll show you my boys. We got a couple. Check it out. Look at this. I have uh, some custom bits there, as you can see. I've got the taco truck. So this is the debut of my Mexican orcs. So I have a bunch of orcs with sombreros on them. Let me get a little zoom in on some of these uh, orcs. So I got some, some, some sombrero orcs. 
I've got some luchador orcs. And Jay, who are these from? Those are from Trenchworks. Our you, buddy Dave at Trenchworks. Yeah, mm-hmm. so if you want, you can go to trenchworks.com, pick up some luchador orcs. They're freaking awesome. And then I have a custom-created taco truck uh, <laughs> so that the orcs can pile in, drive around, and chomp on some tacos. So this is going to be my uh, taco truck green tri- green tide list where I am spamming boys. I'm going 20 boys with a pain boy to keep them really durable. That gives them feel no pains. And a war boss. And we have another custom uh, piece right here. This is a uh, luchador war boss. On a, so on a flying turkey. On turkey. a flying <laughs> turkey. So he's right. This is also trench works if you want to grab your own kind of custom uh, luchador orcs. So uh, there you go. So I've got 20 uh, boys here. They all, all of my boys, regardless of what they're modeled with, are going to have a chopper and a shooter. Okay, that's just so that we can get stuck in. And then uh, so uh, the war boss and a pain boy. Same thing over here. 20 orcs, war boss, and a pain boy just to supplement them. And what's a great thing about these big blobs of 20 boys is they can have two attachments, so two leaders, characters. So I've attached a pain boy to help heal them and a war boss to whoa, get them worked up. Um, and then I've got 20 Gretchen led by one of these little little guy on a, on a tiny squig on a wheel. Uh, this is the runt herder, we'll call it. 10 Gretchen in the runt herder. Uh, this is basically just to keep uh, objectives in my back line. Because the Gretchen ain't going to do nothing. I mean, Gretchen don't do anything against Space Marines. What do you think they're going to do against the Custodia. Golden Boys? Yeah. They're going to do nothing. Um, and there is a, a secret surprise. I forgot. That's not my entire force. So let me bring my secret, my secret surprise. <laughs> From the taco truck come Some- four... Mega nobs. Mega nobs. These these are some bad boys right here. So two mega nobs right there, another two mega nobs, and they are inside the taco truck. They're like my enforcers. So that is Angry Joe's brand new Orc Codex version of the Green Tide, which is right there. What does the Green Tide allow you to do? Well, it gives every single boy a 5-plus invulnerable save. And so it makes them a little hardier. And I can re-roll saving throws of 1 oh, nice. when they die. Uh, so as long as I have 10 or more models in there. And then there's plenty of good stratagems that help me uh, really swarm the enemy and, and stay strong. Okay, so that is the Orcs. Let us go to Patrick, who's going to tell us about his detachment of Golden Boys. So, my orcs, that is my orc list, and we are out in the Orky Desert right now, and uh, there is a small force of Golden Boys whose jet bikes have sort of uh, scouted ahead, and they see the green tide coming. So they hit the uh, retro boosters, fly back to their uh, small uh, contingent force, and say uh, the orcs are coming. So let's see what force is going to go up against the boys. It is the golden boys right here. Patrick, tell us, what the hell do you have? All right, we're going to start with my leader, the main man, Trajan Valoris. And he is going to be equipped with his ranged weapon, Eagle Scream, and his melee weapon, the Watcher's Axe. Yeah. And that is going to be my main, uh, my leader, named character. And then to his guard, to his flanks, we have the Custody Guard. Mm. And we have one guard to his flank with spears. Those are going to be the Guardian Spears. Mm -hmm. And then one, the other ones have the uh, Sentinel Blades. Right. And, and the shields. And the shields, yes. This guy has a spear, but we're going to count him as <laughs> having a shield and a yeah. blade. So we got mm-hmm. one, one of each. And then to the back right here, we have the Praetors, the Virtus Praetors. And I'm equipping them with 
the Hurricane Bolter. And for melee, we have the Interceptor Lance. Mm-hmm. And then last but not least, we have the big boy. The Telemon. <laughs> the Dreadnought. Now, we're, we're, paying, we're playing with 1,000 points, but yeah. because the Codex points are out, the Codex points aren't necessarily out, we don't really know. Yeah. So we're going around 1,000 yeah. points. And then hopefully, and not a legal bill, we have um, the Accelerator uh, Culverin mm-hmm. Dual. And was what he's equipped with, and then uh, he also has the uh, yeah, bolt big old launchers. missile rack up top. Yeah, and then for melee, he has his armored feats. All right, kick him, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kick some orcs <laughs> if they get up in his and face. So, nice. so quantity over quality, or quality over quantity. You got that it. That is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. That is a smaller looking force as compared to my force over here. So it's going to be numbers versus quality, just as it should be. Check those two lists out. I love it. All right, cool. Well, uh, it's been a long time, so let's uh, go ahead and get stuck in. Here is the battlefield at the start. You can really see the green tide from this distance. Uh, here are the super elite custodes. They've set up one custodian guard unit there, a second custodian guard unit here with the character, Trajan Valeris. We have the badass Siege Heavy Dreadnought in the middle of the field and some jet bikes to one of his flanks. Incoming is the Orcs. I've placed my truck right here with all those knobs inside, ready to grab some objectives and get stuck in and get crumping. And then here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the massive 1,000 point green tide. Look at all of these models, just a bunch of boys upon boys, and a few Gretchen here. Um, boys, now imagine if this was a 2,000 point match. We're only going with a 1,000 point match because this is our first game of 40K in a few months and we're getting back used to it, getting back into the swing of things. All right, let's see what happens at the end of turn one. Guys, it's the end of turn one and it was a glorious turn for the wog we pretty much we pretty much hit every charge we hit that i got really lucky with my charge rolls i think charge. i hit a, well yeah i hit every charge yeah. okay charge is two dice um here we're looking at five yeah. that's a seven. Oh. Seven. they didn't that's actually eight. an eight okay. yeah but so this was seven, we got in. Ucha boys is gonna need an eight to get in. This is the hard one. And I've got one CP. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what we needed, orcs. Nine. Let's go! Luchas, grab them. Uh, the hardest one, these boys need to charge nine inches. I just rolled a nine on the past roll. Can I roll a nine again on this roll? Oh, yes! Oh <laughs> Damn. Roy, let's get them, boys! Ten. Uh, it's not looking good. So I did get super lucky, came here obliterated all of those uh, Praetors. And then let's green tie. He, These, I think he's dead. I think all three of them shoot. might. Because this is all 20 boys, and that is uh, 20 times 4 is what? Uh, 80. Right? Yeah. <sighs> no. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, that's 80. Holy shit. Yeah, 80, 80 dice. 80, 80 yeah. Like 80 how, fucking how dice. How am I supposed to compete with how this? How are you supposed to compete with that? Uh, this list is dirty. With uh, Roll your saves. <laughs> 80 dice. <laughs> Come on, Warhammer. This is excessive. Because you can only roll, roll 20 dice at a time. Even if you roll bad, it's it doesn't matter because you're gonna roll 20 more, 20 so, more, 20 more, 20 more. This is yeah. This is the wog. The power of the wog. I have choppas on all of them, which is normally three attacks each. But in the wog, it goes up by one, so four attacks each. Here we go. First I mean, round. If I can hit back, 
We'll see. Uh, and we'll, we'll do sustain. Yeah. They hit on three plus. Nine armor piercing one. Yeah. So three ups. Six. Eight. Yikes. Oh, nice. Jeez. Four misses. No, five misses. Yeah, five. Five wounds. How much does wounds does each bike have? Probably. Four. Okay. Four each. One bike down with a wound carryover on a bike. Yep. And then we'll do the um, claw, the war boss claw, hitting on fours, only two hits, wounding on threes, two wounds. That's armor piercing two. Nope. Both those went through. Yep. Two went through? Those yep. are two, di two wounds apiece. Man, those power claws are nice. Yeah, so another one. Came down. here, wiped half of the, more than half. I got three uh, custode guards with the sombrero guys. Oh, that was only that was 20. Just, yeah. yeah, so that was four from. Yeah, four. Four, four yeah. from the first 20. Right. And here comes the second 20. All right, this is a, this is a much better roll. And then how, how many? many I think I have two left for yeah. 42. Yeah. So. Here's two. One, one. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plus four. Fourteen, Fourteen. wounds. <laughs> one, two, three, four. four. Yeah. So four wounds. That's enough to kill one, yep. one custode. Uh, and then the uh, claw on this guy. Armor piercing two, so four up. One wound. Armor piercing two. No. Oh, two more damage no, on that guy it. that yeah, took down. Um. Yeah. Now, and I and there's a pain boy in this one, so let's see what the pain boy does. He's got a power claw and a a dirty serene. Uh. Ooh. Three hits. Yep. And power claw nine, so that's threes to wound. Two wounds at armor piercing two. Two damage. Ugh. Oh, you might want a CP. Well, no. can, if you CP, can he reroll both? Or just no, one just of them? One. Do you want a CP reroll? At this point, I feel not much hope for things. <laughs> Damn, that happened to me. <laughs> I feel a little better that he did that. Okay. So that's four damage. So the two goes to that yeah. guy and does what? He's dead. It just kills him outright because he only had well, it's four. three health. Oh, surprisingly, I did better without competitive streak. But that was only because, because of the pain saves. boy. Yeah. It saves. And, oh, Blew and all his saves. Sa he did blow his saves. Uh, what was doing a lot of the heavy lifting is the power claws from the war boss and the... Uh, a pain boy. Um, and then over here, I gave them the competitive streak uh, CP, which was allowing me to re-roll my wound and rolls. Three more. Okay. What do we got? 30, <laughs> 37. 30, 37. I should have said 42. Hits. <laughs> 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 but you can re-roll? But I can completely re-roll any misses from uh, the stratagem I just spent called... Uh, competitive streak and i'll read it here that's and this 20. is only on the, the this is until the end of the phase it's just this one boy's unit yeah so galvanized by the rest of their mates fighting around them orcs will redouble their efforts to outdo each other so here is um 20. one five two five he needs three, to re-roll all of them it doesn't matter yeah but still he's got to take I, those ones out I only got four. four fives, but thank God I get to reroll yeah. all of these. A little bit better. That is a lot uh, better. Yeah, okay. Those rerolls are amazing. So now uh, that's ten. Ten right there. Okay, so ten. We know ten. Now roll seventeen more. So, well, all right, need fives. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Rerolling re -roll. these. <sighs> uh, 
That's a good one. So two, four, six, eight, another 10, 12. 12. Another 12. So 22 <laughs> wounds. 22 <laughs> wounds. What's your AP? Uh, zero. <laughs> oh, it should be zero. Choppa is negative one AP. Hey, so three ups. Three ups. So 20, 22? 22, 22 three, three ups. ups. After all that, 22. <laughs> so take out your ones and twos. Damn, boy. Fucking 20. This motherfucker so, just surrounded well, me. Hang, like, hang on. How many wounds does each of these guys have? Four. Three. Four. They oh, have three. The, oh, the shields. shields. They have shields. The shields uh, give them an extra wound. Okay. So that's I thought that happened. that was what, the one that was going to wipe the squad, but it actually only took out one guy. And I don't have a pain boy, but I did have a power claw. So, um, yeah. I pretty much uh, wiped the board with, I uh, took out half of the custodes. The steroid thing or the syringe right there it was. Oh, and that was a really, really cool part. The pain boy hit one of those bikes with a fucking dirty syringe and rolled five mortal Natural wounds. Six, yeah. Natural six and then a five. If I can... So that was pretty sweet. And then finally, uh, I have one pain boy in there, dirty syringe, <laughs> and he has a power claw. Let's do his power claw. No hits with the power claw. Dirty syringe. We're looking for a six. Oh, <laughs> got it outside of the fucking. That would have been D6 mortal wounds. Let's see if I can roll another six. Yeah! <laughs> look, <laughs> look at, look at Patrick. I, what am I, I stuck you with what? that dirty syringe. I have no, wor no yeah. words, man. What am I supposed to do? Dirty syringe Ugh. is D6 mortal wounds. Here we go. Fuck. I think I can blow up this last. God <laughs> damn, dude. How much How much damage does he have on him? Uh, he's got four. Is he fresh? Yeah. He's fresh, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can hit four or above. Here we go. Dirty syringe. Oh. <laughs> dirty syringe. Yeah. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, dude. So I Damn, have a full... boy, this guy right here, this guy right here. So I don't do a vulnerable. You. Is that is that hit different you with against that dirty syringe against vehicles? Oh, uh, I don't know how it works against vehicles. Let's read it. It's not a vehicle. <laughs> dead. Let's no. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, I told you you was gonna lose. You should have like prepared this. for not, it. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Get him with the dirty syringe, oh, boy. Gosh. Stick, 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 stick. <laughs> How is that not a fucking vehicle? <laughs> he 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 grabbed your shoulder or something. He jumped on it and then stuck you. <sighs> fucking crazy. Whoa, crazy, the boys. Bro. Green Tide. That's it for my Green Tide. And we have definitely a nice little one turn one wrap up to do I can blame my, oh my complete God. domination the Gretchens are over here laughing at the golden boys and Patrick rolled really poorly on his uh, wound on or everything. his uh, everything. his armor rolls <laughs> and he's fighting back alright well let's see what happens on turn two but I think that's like a turn one uh, victory dude here we go one God. wound uh, feel no pain of five plus Got it. <laughs> Come on, the boy Wait. says, get out of here. Oh, my God. It's a uh, two. Did the sustain two damage. Two damage. Hey, man. <laughs> I got to remember my breathing exercises. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, I just want to say, hey, um... thank you for helping me test Warhammer. <laughs> you're helping me test Warhammer. Yeah. You're, you're not going to win. Okay? Just set that expectation. Uh... <laughs> like, I'm playing the orcs. I'm winning the orcs. Sure. <laughs> I just walked you. Yeah. So... Do your leader. The green tide, man. The Fuck! Man, the green tide is green. All right, now do your uh, character, uh, yeah. Trajan Valoris. Vol Vol All right, so he has a... He's pretty good. Yeah. Should be able to take out some loot. Oh, uh, I have six out. I know, I'm saying take uh, out six. So can I reroll that one, or is that only on What's one? the strength? Seven? Okay, or three is the one. Ten, sorry. Uh, ten. ten? Yeah. Oh, oh, we'll say twos right now. Yeah, twos. Uh, twos re-rolling ones. That's amazing. So all of them hit, plus you re-roll that one. <laughs> no way. God, dude. Pat that's... finds a way. I... Am I the new OJ? I think like, you what are the, the fuck, new OJ. Man? So that's four God wounds. damn, bro. Four wounds on four orcs. Uh, five up. 
in Vaughn. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> The fuck! <laughs> he said, "What so the one, fuck?" One gets through, and then how much damage Three on each damage of those each. swipes? Oh, that orc is dead. He's got a five-up feel, no pains on all of them. No, he he blocked one, took two wounds. He can only take one wound, and one more sombrero man is down. He can double his attack, but it has to be on my fighting shit. Yeah, that guy is fucking. That guy has twelve attacks, yep. rolling twos, re-rolling ones. Yep. It's his special thing. Momentum shock. That has to be like the emperor. That's like the best says, stat line in the game. But it says once per battle, at the start you of the you fight. Better phase. do it now. <laughs> yeah. So this He's is doing my it now. Once per battle. No. Oof. Why? So well, you don't get to re-roll the ones on hit. Right. Yeah. But you do re-roll the ones on wound. So four. So four to wound. You're probably gonna get four. All right. Yeah, so all four hits. Now, how many feel no pains can I get? Okay, so Trajan just hit me with another six attacks from his once a game ability with four, five up feel no pains. Oh, oh my God, my. I did it again. Jesus. And then this one will probably, it's three damage. Can I get it? Oh, I almost got it. That orc dies because he only has one wound and one more sombrero. So. Trajan only killed two orcs from 12 attacks. Yeah. That was definitely Trajan underperforming. Yeah. All right. Well, I just took four boys got hit. I'll give you a fifth boy just, just because I feel bad. <laughs> so there's two. I'm back down gym. to that. And then you, you get three. Getting pity kills. Yeah, but <laughs> wow. Trajan is I'm overwhelmed, man. Eventually, too much. there's got to be a better way to get dice. There needs to be like a dice fucking distributing machine that we can like <laughs> attach to Whoa. our hip and and we can go something like you like know. a like a so coin you, dispenser. You, you put it you put it in a funnel. Yeah. And then it funnels in there and then you go boop 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 5 10 15. <laughs> it's not going to work. But that's how you have to play Warhammer cuz there's too many fucking dice. Take care, Josh. Outside of the wog, they're not they're they're not that Thanks, Chief. They're not as powerful. If you can get around my wog, Smack. then you win. You fight back. With my feet? Kick me. My melee weapon, my feet, my armor feet, five on two up. Five dies. Trying to squash me. My feet sees one for each toe. Jeez. One went one, through, one. so two more wounds on Trajan. So he has three to total on him. Three total, meaning he has four wounds left. Yes. Dirty syringe. Six plus. Six. Oh, that's a five. Close. So it hit without the dirty. And then it needs a six. Nothing. It's garbage if it doesn't hit the 30. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are calling it. Uh, yeah. I managed Mercy. to kill the last custode in the center. So the only two models left are Trajan himself and this big old uh, heavy dreadnought. And I'll tell you what, because the orcs are like, hey, that's some good crumping. Use a good fighter, Trajan. He gonna come on yeah. over here and have himself a taco with the boys. Make way for this, this bad boy. This golden boy earns our respect. Use was a good fight. <laughs> Have yourself a uh, <laughs> sweet ass taco. Jimmy Changa, make yourself a dang quesadilla. I love fucking quesadillas. <laughs> so I don't even think I need to do that second turn on the phone. Um, <clears throat> we can just talk about it now. Yeah. All right, that's it. We've had our first battle between the new Orcs Codex and the new Adeptus Custodes Codex. And it was an absolute slaughter. The green tide in a thousand point battle yeah. overpowered uh, the Adeptus Custodes. They were elite, they were throwing, uh, but here's what I think did it. I hit all three of my charges. charges. So I, mean, I got yeah. to fight you before you fought me. With Wog. With Wog yeah. too. Yeah. I, I, if, if you got to fight me first without Wog, then I had to do Wog later depleted 
And then once you get past that walk turn, the orcs are like tired and they want to go home. Yeah. You know. But you, I, but that, that first was turn was poor rolling. Yeah, yeah. I got well, poor yeah, rolls. And that that definitely played a huge factor into it. <laughs> Plus that that one uh, stratagem for your you is huge. Crazy with the rerolls. The competitive the re street. Yeah. The competitive. It seemed like very very big, right? But yeah. it actually didn't do as much as like some of the other shit I was doing elsewhere, well, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it, I think it. It, it will, a lot. It it will help, help a, lot. a lot in future games. For some reason, it didn't do all that much there. But it does help. There's yeah. no doubt about it. it. I'm not saying it's not powerful. Yeah. In my specific <laughs> instance, I didn't even need it is what I'm yeah. saying. But in all other games, the competitive streak is so powerful. I think the 5-plus invul save and re-rolling ones on, on that. Yeah. So, I mean, almost there's a 50-50% chance that I just save yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I got to reroll the, the one. Involt and the uh, feel, no feel no pain. Yeah, and feel you, no pain. Because I put in pain boys yeah. into those groups. Yeah. Um, so yeah. they have two chances to save. And then on top of that, you have a chance to bring in more reinforcements. Yeah, don't every, forget yeah. I have the, uh, other, the, the other stratagem. stratagem yeah, yeah, which was called Come On Lads, which can give me up to five boys in, yeah. in a single which turn at back. at one point you did get all five. Which at one point I got all five. <laughs> so basically everything <laughs> went right. my way yeah. in that battle yeah. report. And what a way to debut the new Orcs Codex. And I am happy as fuck. The only Bet thing that are. I absolutely hate is the fact that two characters got deleted. Uh, you know, my Captain Bad Rug and then my fucking Storm Boy character. I forget his name. It's, um, shit, what's his name? Uh, Boss Zagstruck. So they have pages yeah. in the damn codex. You know, here's Boss uh, Zagstruck. And then here is my fucking my favorite guy, Captain Badruck, and I just got him painted. And I have a bunch of flash gets painted, and he's gone. And he's what made orc shooting somewhat good with the flash gets. So that feels really, really bad. Um, but other than that, I fucking love the orc, orc codex. And I can see how some yeah. people are disappointed with yeah. the custos. And I think I think the biggest biggest nerf are like you know yeah debuff or whatever you want to call it was the uh fight first yeah they it, used it, to have a ton of fight first i think that would have really like changed the tide because when you were coming in i would have been able to fight first right so check this out uh if we look here so they have i have six detachments I can do Green Tide. I can do uh, Cult of Speed. So I got a bunch of buggies and planes, and I can't wait to try that. I could do Dread Mob, where all my Dreadnoughts and my big Stompas and, and Gretchen become frontline troops. Mm -hmm. So much fun stuff in the Orcs Codex. And, and that's just a few of the six. Here in Custodes, they only have four. And two of the four, Talon of the Emperor and Null Maiden Vigil are for the Sisters of Silence. Yeah. And the Sisters of Silence right now, they're weak as hell. Yeah. Unless you're playing a Psyker, you really have no chance with Sisters of Silence. And then I will say GW did try to do something interesting with Auric Champions. This yeah. is an all-character kind of list where all your characters Trying are Trying to bring buff. back the Hero Hammer. Hero Hammer kind of thing. Yeah. That's kind of cool, but it may or may not work. So really, you only have one Shield Host and this one's worse than the index, uh, you know, detachment. So you kind of got screwed over on detachments. You didn't get anything new, like new models. I'm also disappointed in there's only one generic new big mech model in the orcs. And he's, uh, you know, I kind of wanted new models. It's like, what the hell, GW? Don't yeah. you want me to buy models? I'll buy <laughs> models. But, yeah, Custodes, disappointing Ugh. codex. I would I would borderline bad. I just, yeah, you know, not, not since... Dark Angels, that, that codex kind of notoriously yeah. sucked. Ad mech kind of notoriously sucked. Yeah. Orcs Codex, happy. It with it hurting my heart to lose two big characters. But uh, so I'm happy with that. Um, and that was our first time playing 
full 40k with like the tactical objectives. Yeah, that was yeah. the other part of it is like having the secondary objective. Objective. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. you think it, it was too much? Do you think you can handle it after playing it? What do you think? I think overall it was just too much. Because, like, there's just, like, you draw, but you don't draw right now. You draw in a little, little yeah, late. Yeah, I think it could be cleaned up, yeah. you yeah. know? It's just so much. And if you watch battle reports on other channels, they'll show you, like, the sides, like, first turn, second of J. It's like, boop, 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 boop. there's, like, so many bits yeah. Yeah. to your primaries and your secondaries. And I just like it where it's like, okay, this turn, oh, I got two victory points. Okay, this turn, I got three victory yeah. points. Yeah. When you don't have it, like, 90 yeah. fucking 7 to 63. And I maybe like, like better when you're if like, it's just, you know, simple. Yeah, like, maybe, like, when you're playing, like, consistently and, like, you have a good feel for it, then you can mm -hmm. really utilize the secondary because you, like, you already know what you're kind of doing with your army. Yeah. You know. But granted, we're casuals. We're coming yeah. from combat patrol, <laughs> so we want things simple. But I do think it would still, it would, it, 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 does it could still do all that. It. Um, that big complex does add complexity, and I'm wondering, is there enough granularity there that it's worth the additional complexity? You know right. what I mean? Or can it can be redone for Warhammer 11th edition to make it a little streamlined and cleaner? But other than, I think that after playing it once, I, I, I'll probably play it that way going forward, but not happily. <laughs> Instead, it's just like, well, we want to play real Warhammer, right. what everybody you, else you is do playing, it right. so let's just do it. Right. And, and I hope maybe in, in 11th edition they, they can kind of address that. But other than that, I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. I had Patrick though. I had a a a time. <laughs> a time. Yeah, a time. A <laughs> getting absolutely crushed before yeah. turn two. I don't think I've seen a, a more lopsided yeah. victory. But I think number one, we're playing thousand point lists, so they're always weird. Yeah. You had a suboptimal list to begin with. Yeah. I did say Patrick. I say Patrick. I think you're gonna lose In on this one. But I don't have a lot of custodes <laughs> right now, so you know if you we, can. If yeah. you can bite the bullet. Yeah, and then finally, just... I think it's bullshit that the co the codex is out, but the points are completely wrong, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I bought a, I, you know, you buy a, I got this one from GW, but if you buy a $40 book or whatever, you, yeah. you want that shit to be right. It's digital, and you're like, okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll look it up digitally. It's not it's out not digitally. Out. Yeah. Even though this is out, and you could pre-order it, and some people are getting it now, you still don't have the real points yeah. when is the real points coming out so gw needs to do a few more things to line things up yeah. and right when you order pre-orders you can see the points and all this other stuff but other than that um after playing warhammer again i'm like yes yeah. let's play more Warhammer. <laughs> it was fun i did it even though fun. i got my ass whooped yeah. I, I did have fun. I like it. Does make I, you want to be like, oh, I can make a list. Yeah, I can, I can build. I could have done this different. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I would have, then uh, then I'm like, oh, if I would have had fight first in that first turn, right? You know, but this, it was fun. Yeah. Um, we we, we did miss some uh, subscribers. Yeah. Okay, we'll call those yeah. out in a second. Yeah. Um, but a little bit more in the after, I was yeah. surprised with Trajan Valoris. That guy is a badass. Yeah, he is. That dude was an absolute yeah. tank. That was that was a surprise to me. Yeah. He's and like it, a, he's again, like the emperor's just, champion. It's just like anything. Uh, we get more repetition, more more of these battles under our belt. It'll go a lot quicker. It will know a lot more. And, and it'll be like second nature, you know. Yeah. Especially when we play our own armies that we repetitively, you know. It's just for sure. getting the, getting it. Uh, I down. wish my tra Trajan was painted better because he's painted yellow. I want him gold. So, you know, maybe if I, we really like Trajan, maybe I can sell this one and, and get a and slightly get a better one. painted one. But, uh, yeah, that's it, th guys. Thank you all so much. We want to thank our sponsors, Frontline Gaming, yeah. who, as you can see here, provided this beautiful gaming mat. And this thing looks like orcs. You can even see it. Like, so I'm going to, this is definitely an orc type map. They have some great uh, battle mats and they also offer uh, a J. What else do they do? They have terrain, they have uh, painting uh, partners, painting services. services. You could buy you your could models buy, from yeah, them. You buy models from them. They got, yeah, they got and they like even a run tournaments. Yeah, and they do a lot of the. 
ITC uh, format uh, tournaments all yeah. over the place. And uh, on this one, we use a lot of Den of Imagination painted miniatures. My orcs are from Den of Imagination, yep. the majority of them. So uh, they do really great paint jobs. I'd say um, excellent, excellent paint jobs. And um, I actually didn't think 1,000 points was as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I'm surprised that 1,000 was somewhat still entertaining. Yeah. It's a step up from Combat Patrol. Yeah. And now, that's you, you have to play with uh, custom uh, house rules, I think. Yeah. Because there are, <laughs> like, could you imagine if I brought the 800-point Stompa? Yeah. So I, I'm going to bring uh, Gazgul Thraka and yeah. the 800-point Stompa. Yeah. <laughs> no, and no, then no. You just, yeah. And then, then you well, draw that's the 9-inch within. You can take anything in, no, in the way no, you no, build. No. I mean, in the way... Well, no, no, no. You will break the game yeah. if I show up with an 800-point Stompa and you have, like, you know, infantry. You're never going to be able to penetrate it. But, uh, so what I think yeah. we should do is a house rule where we should have no unit can be more than, say, 300 points. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just to, like, cap it. And I also did a, a soft rule. It wasn't in this one. But, you know, the rule of three... In, t in Warhammer, if we're playing with a thousand points, I think we should do the rule of two. So you know, yeah, they have yeah, two yeah. units in the smaller oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that'd be fine. And then also cap it at max three characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because technically, you can, you can, well, no, that would, that would fuck over a st Custode's new Auric champion, so maybe not gonna, that. Are you going to do that? <laughs> Have More the new than three characters. Yeah. That is that the one with all the heroes? Yeah. yeah. But anyways, I liked thousand points more than I thought I would, and I think it's still viable. But honestly, I wish Games Workshop would add a thousand five hundred point option. Because I think that's just like the sweet some spot. Some middle ground. Because you can yeah, you can either get one more big boy or like fill out your, your yeah. list with that rest Have of the 500 more. points. Yeah. I think it's a sweet spot. Because honestly, I think 2,000 points takes too long and, you know, you're right. You, yeah. And in a tournament, you're, you're <laughs> like, I got three hours, let's go over here. Now, as you get better and you're a veteran, then you can get around it. But as, you know, relative new players, I think, yeah, they should have a 1,500 list. Yeah. yeah Anyways, well, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one!